Cold calling is the most feared sales method in the entire world, but it made me a millionaire before the age of 25. And I am so sick of hearing people say, cold calling is dead, cold calling doesn't work, and using that as an excuse for their own fear of picking up the phone. And believe me, I understand how they feel because I've been there myself, but I know cold calling works incredibly well. And today I'm coming out of retirement to prove it to you all. Now quickly, if you don't know me, my name's Jordan Platten. I own Affluent.co, it's a digital marketing agency based in the UK. We've made millions over the past few years. Because of that, we've generated millions for the companies that we have worked with. Now I also own an education business called the Affluent Academy. I teach agency owners how to scale their businesses using methods like cold calls. And so I actually posted in our private community the other day, asking if anybody wanted me to cold call on their behalf so I could record this video. And 49 of our members, agency owners, commented on that saying, yeah, sure, let's do it. And I randomly selected somebody yesterday. Okay, let's do it. Here we're gonna get. Dan. Mo, congrats, man. Drop your message now. So Mo has started an agency that works with aesthetic clinics in the UK. So these are businesses that do Botox, fillers, hair transplants, anything cosmetic. And I'm not gonna lie, when I found this out, Ah oh man, I've got my work cut out for me today because the aesthetics industry and any medical practitioner, it's a hard industry to get hold of the business owner because usually the business owner is also a practitioner, which means they spend a lot of their time with clients. So you have to deal with a lot of gatekeepers. It's gonna make for an interesting video, but if I do get a meeting today, it's truly gonna prove my point because I haven't picked a niche that is easy. So if I can do it in a hard niche, you can do it in any other. Now, my first step this morning is I've been working on looking at Mo's offer, so what he's actually putting forward to these businesses. And his offer is helping clinics get 10 to 15 new appointments booked in every month or so. And he does this using Facebook lead formats to generate the leads, and then a nurturing sequence and appointment setting to actually convert those leads into customers on the calendar. So it's a very hands-off service for the clinic. So once we established this, I needed to write a script for this. I wanted to make sure that the script is bespoke to this niche and you wanna make sure you do that as well in your industry. You don't just copy and paste some script which isn't applicable to your industry or your offer. And you're gonna hear that in a moment when I actually start dialing. But if you want me to break down the psychology behind the script and go through it word by word in my writing process, let me know, drop a comment and within the comments say script writing and I'll know that you want me to record that video in the future. The final thing I needed to do was generate some leads. So I spent a bit of time getting a bit of a list together for UK estheticians that he hasn't reached out to yet. So it is a fair calling session. Sweet. So I'm gonna stand up because you should always be calling, standing up. You wanna have free expression of your body. Do a quick 10 minute meditation and then let's start dialing. Okay, so I'm gonna go for my lowest hanging fruit first, which is gonna be anybody with a mobile number. Right, if we've got a mobile number, then great. We should be able to get directly through to um, the business owner. So let's see. Um, let's have a look at what we've got. Medical School, Centre for Medical Science and Research, London Medical Academy. Right, first couple of calls, I might need to come back to, might need to come to the script and then after a while we're going to get into the swing of it and it's going to be pretty easy. So, uh, 739. Okay, so I'd recommend doing a double dial. Uh, sometimes people just think it's a cold call, so if you redial, then they're gonna think it's more serious. I'm calling from a mobile number as well and using just call dial. Okay. So I'm gonna mark this lead. It's orange on my database, no answer. Okay, and let's get with that. Like for you guys, it'll be easier for you to dial this straight from desktop app. I'm doing it on my phone because I'm obviously recording the video. It makes it a little bit harder, but you can just copy and paste a number on, a, on an app. Yes, hello? Hi, is that Gene? Uh, Gene, I know you're busy, um, so I'll be quick. Uh, my name's Mo, and I just wondered whether you guys could handle another 15 appointments for your clinic at the moment. Which clinic, sorry? Your, your, your clinic for uh, London, London Aesthetics, London Health and Aesthetics. Sorry, I'm not sure I'm with you. Are you, are you, are you, are you not the COO at London Health and Aesthetics? Oh, yeah, I don't work for London Aesthetics anymore. Oh, okay, so you're not in the aesthetics industry at all? Well, I'm not in the aesthetics industry, but I'm 
I mean, the aesthetic and the shoe, but I don't work for London aesthetic anymore. Okay, fine. I look, I know this is a cold call and I know it's awkward, but to be completely frank with you, like, <laughs> I found your number and I wanted to, to call up because I'm doing this amazing thing at the moment. I'm getting people 15 appointments in a month or so. So if you're working for another clinic right now, this might still be worth a chat. Uh, yeah, this okay. Okay. I, I just don't know right now. Can I give you a call? That, that's, that's absolutely fine. Do you want me to call you back in 15 minutes? We'll only take, I'd, I'd say, a minute of your time, and we can book in a call for early next week and go in more detail then. Uh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's, let's, let's book in 15 minutes if you can call me back. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll be free to talk. Yeah, absolutely fine. I'll call you in about 15 minutes' time. Okay, thank you. All right, speak in a moment. Bye. Cool. Okay, so threw me off guard there because it like, doesn't actually work for the place anymore. It was suspicious because I couldn't find the website. Um, so... Anyway, try to overcome that instead of just being like, okay, fine, well, let's jump off this, address the fact it's a little bit awkward, you work for a different uh, aesthetic clinic, but you still work for one, I've got this amazing thing I'm doing, 15 uh, new clients, and we'll see how we get on with that. So I will make a note on this database now, call back 15 minutes. I'm gonna mark this as green to say yes, I actually spoke. Call back at, uh, so this is gonna be 8.45. Call back. No, it's at all. Like, no, I'd recommend you t t trusting people's judgment generally when they say call back. Like sometimes people will ghost, like I'm not betting on him like picking up the phone again. So if he does, it'd be a nice bonus. Okay, let's move on to another one. It's always worth checking. You see, I got thrown off guard there. I didn't actually have their company name up on screen as I was calling. And so I was like thrown off and I was stumbling. So it's always worth having the company name up on screen. Clinic aesthetics, have a look. Oh, your website's horrible, so that's, you need a website agency. Um, okay, what have we got? We've got lots of locations here, so let's see if I can have a look on their Facebook where they're running ads at the moment. So we're going to be looking for Vikram. Okay, can't find that. That's fine. Clinic Aesthetics. I'm going to call Vikram. Hi, is that Vikram? Yeah. Hi, Vikram. I know you're busy, so I'll be really quick. Can you guys handle another 15 appointments at the moment? Uh, probably not, no. Okay, not in the near distant future? I'm not, I'm not trying to sell you anything on this call. Just, I just want to keep it super casual. Unless you just want two minutes of your time. I know this is a cold call. Yeah, I'm happy for you to tell me what you're on about, but I'm, I'm not um, I don't think we can to okay. Take on Absolutely fine. I respect that. So just just briefly before we end, then like I help aestheticians get more appointments booked in. I handle the whole process. I get the leads for you. I call them up on your behalf. I book them into your calendar. And I'm so confident based on what I've seen you guys online. You've got a beautiful brand. That if I wasn't to get you new clients, you wouldn't have to pay me a single penny either. Okay. So maybe something to come on to in the future. But right now, uh, not. Okay, fine. So it's an expansion thing at the moment. That's absolutely fine. Well, would, it, would it be fair to say then it would be worth calling back maybe in March? Okay. Well, well what about this? Because I only need 15 minutes of your time to run through how it would work. I could have a sit down with you on a Zoom call, 15 minutes at some point next week. I could run you through the system. If it's something that you do want to do, we can put it on park. And then when the time is right, we can pick the conversation back up. But at least we've had the chat. Um, Clint, if you want to send an email through, then um, I can have a, send some info on that as well. OK. And then um, I'll, have, I'll try and have a look and I'll get OK, fine. What, 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 can I just ask what is it you would hope to see in email itself? Because if, if I'm completely transparent with you, I usually find email is a bit of a waste of time. Yeah, no, just uh, uh, what, what you would offer and what the charges are. And, okay. Uh, what the expectations are. Yeah, yeah. It really does depend on the business that we work with. It's very different and individual to each company. And whilst we manage the whole process, it's not really something that I'd be able to put down in an email. So I can either call you back at another time or we could arrange a really quick meeting. We can go through the details. And if not, then that's absolutely fine. Yeah, not a, yeah, 
Not a problem at all. I'll make a note to give you a call back in March at some point, and then hopefully we'll be in a position to have another conversation. Okay, all right, thanks for your call. No worries, have a brilliant day. Take care. Right, Thank you. Bye bye. Cool. Okay. Just to make sure we're ended there. So, difficult one, obviously. Uh, they're saying that they don't have enough practitioners at the moment, so they've actually got a hiring pro a problem. I do believe him on that because I pushed back a couple of times. He said, well, okay, well, why don't we just have the chat anyway? Because this is always good. Like, if somebody gives you a pushback and someone's like, well, no, I want to. Um, I'm not in the position to do this right now, and maybe we can do it in the future. So they give you that little bit of that, that, that glimpse that you could do it in the future. It's always good to try and get the meeting in anyway, because you don't know, well, in your meeting, you're gonna build enough trust, you're gonna wow them anyway, so you might create enough desire for them to actually want your service. So try to get the meeting in, push back, he said email. I said, I'm not going to email you. I think it's a bit of a waste of time. I'm transparent with him. Instead, we're going to say we're going to have a meeting uh, or we're going to call back in March. Wouldn't hold my breath on it. Um, but it is important there to stick your ground with the email thing. The email can be just a complete waste of time. So generally speaking, I would send over an email and say, it was good to speak to you very briefly. As discussed, I would love to jump on a meeting with you. Uh, but don't send over all the details about your service and so on. Restate your offer and exactly what you do. But don't mention any prices or anything like that at all. Uh, book them in for another time in the future. Uh, if you do push back further than what I just did, it's going to get a little bit awkward. You can tell there's already a bit of resistance there uh, on me saying, um, yeah, like I'm not going to email you. So you don't want to waste your time. You want to protect your time as much as they want to protect theirs, right? So uh, call back in March. Need more, pra Need more practitioners. Okay. Hi, is that Dara? Uh, yes, this is BCK. Hi. Oh, hi, Dara. It's Mo here. I know you're busy, so I'll be quick. I just wondered whether you guys could handle another 10 to 15 appointments right now. If I'm having any, sorry? I wondered if you guys could handle another 10 to 15 appointments for your clinic right now. No, I, just before you hang up, I'm not trying to sell you anything on the phone right now. I literally just want one minute of your time just to tell you what we do, because I genuinely think I could help you guys. Ha! Lost her. Win some and you lose some. Hi, is that Rebecca? Speaking. Hi, Rebecca. It's Mo here. I know you're busy, so I'll be quick. I just wondered whether you guys could handle another 15 appointments at the moment. Oh, I'm on maternity leave at the moment. Um, oh. Thank you, anyway. <laughs> no worries. Congratulations. I'll leave you to it. Thank Have a good you. one. Thank you so much. <laughs> no worries. Bye. Bye, bye bye bye. Okay. We'll leave it to it. I don't want to bother him other on maternity leave. But I'm going to give that one an orange. Like, you could push back on that, and you could, like, oh, let's get a meeting booked in, but, like, do you really want to do that? The mother wants to spend time with her children. Hello? Hey, Jean, it's Jordan calling back. Uh, yes. Tell me, sorry, I was uh, helping <laughs> my kids at school earlier, and I didn't, didn't really... Uh... Understand what you said. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, that's 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 absolutely fine. A little bit of confusion there. So, um, what it was is is simple. I I basically help estheticians get more clients booked in. They don't have to do anything themselves. I find the leads. I call them up myself and book them on your clinic's behalf, and then. Um, I literally do the entire process from start to finish. I li and we are currently getting people around 10 to 15 new appointments every month. And I just wondered whether that's something you'd be interested in discussing. All oh, right, okay. So uh, as I said to you earlier, I'm no longer working for London Aesthetic. I'm uh, consulting for another fragrance in the, another brand in the fragrance industry. Uh, you should speak to someone else at London Aesthetic. I, so, 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 yeah, so I understand you're not at London Aesthetics anymore, but from my understanding, are you at another clinic now as well, instead? No, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm doing some consistency for a launch of a perfume brand, so it's a slightly different uh, area of beauty. 
Okay. Uh, the best thing you can do for me right now, I'm just thinking who you should speak to as a London aesthetic. You should probably call my, my ex boss actually, Sanjay. It, um, but who, sorry? Ajay uh, Gulati? Ajay. Okay. Ajay, so it's A-J-A-Y. A-J-A-Y. And, uh, Gulati is G U L A T I. Okay, perfect. Okay, brilliant. And is there a is there a certain office line that I should reach AJ on? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, you know what? I think the best is if you call this on my on this mobile. Yeah. I shouldn't do it, but I'm going to keep it. <laughs> yeah, I'd appreciate that. Sounds like a nice guy. So it's a, a 077. Yeah. Well, don't worry, Gene, I won't tell him that you gave me his number. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, you have a wonderful day. I appreciate your help. And yeah, no I'll, I'll get in touch with AJ. Okay. Have, have a good one. Take care. Bye. Bye. Yeah. So the rest of that call was fine. My pitch was horrific. This is kind of really comes down to not practicing that script enough and being off the cuff. So uh, I wrote this script literally this morning. Uh, so yeah, there we go. But we managed to get a we managed to get another mobile number for the owner of uh, London Aesthetics, which is awesome. So I'm going to take those details now. It's actually replaced the wrong person on this sheet. Do AJ. Okay. And clinic aesthetics. I just ruined that. Just butchered that. Okay. Awesome. Welcome to the O2 messaging. Okay. Hello, Steve speaking. Hi, Steve. Uh, it's Mo here. I know you're busy, so I'll be really quick. I just wondered whether you guys could hand. Sorry? It's, it, my name is Mo. I'll, I'll be really quick. I know you guys are operating in the London area, and I just wanted to see whether you could handle another 15 appointments for your clinic right now. No, thanks, mate. We're not. Look, no. before, right. Okay, before you hang up, I'm not trying to sell you anything right now. Just, just give me 30 seconds. I just want to tell you. Ah. This is the Vodafone Business Line. Please hold on Good morning, can I speak to Sarah, please? Sarah, no, she doesn't take calls. Uh, if you tell me what's regarding, I may be able to set up a meeting. Yeah, maybe you can help me. I'm, I, I know I can help you guys get 15 more appointments over the next month or so. This is a cold call, just so you know, but I only need two minutes of, of Sarah's time. Sure. She will not give you two minutes of her time without a proposal via email, but if you um, outlay to me and send an email over, we can potentially look at it. Okay, if, if I'm completely transparent with you, it, 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 I always find that email seems to be a bit of a waste of time when I send them out. So is, is there really not another time that would be good to catch Sarah on a whim? She doesn't do that, I'm afraid. Her time is extremely precious. She's super, super busy. Of course. So you need to outlay to me. I'm her assistant manager. And then if it's something that she thinks she'd be interested in, I'll get back to you. Okay, that's not a problem. Well, can I quickly outline to yourself? And then if you can relay that to Sarah, if that's something you guys want to do, then just give me a call back. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Okay, amazing. So uh, it's a simple service. I help estheticians get more clients per month. I manage the whole process. They don't have to do anything. I get you guys more leads. I then call them up, book them on behalf of you, uh, if you wish me to, and then get them straight into your calendar. And based on what I've seen on you guys, I know I could do this for you. And if I was, wasn't to get you any new clients, you wouldn't have to pay me a single penny. Okay, tell me more. So, I mean, the service, what, do you, what would you like to know? <laughs> What, 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 what specifically would you like to know? So, if you were working from a database that you have, that you will then contact and try to sell the clinic to them, or how do you do? No, so work? no, so we, we we run paid ads. So we'll run paid ads specific to you guys on your behalf, and then we would manage a CRM system that, which you'd have access platform. to, and we'd appointment set those leads. Sorry, through what platform? Through Facebook predominantly, which is working the best in their statisticians at the moment. Okay, and um, what sort of profit share? Can you just outline everything in an email and then I can read over and send it on to Sarah? It's, it's, 
It's it's difficult because it's not it's not just like a, a straightforward service. It's one size fits all for everyone. It's all kind of it depends on your situation, what your capacity is, what you can budget on spending at the moment. So, I can send over an email, but to be honest, like it would require us to have a meeting for us to really get anywhere with it. So I'm not sure it would be beneficial for either of us. Well, obviously, we're not going to invest time without doing a bit of research on our end first. So we would need some sort of written contact that we can follow up, and then I can follow up if Sarah's interested in proceeding. Yeah, okay, absolutely fine. So, so what, I'm, what I'll do then, if I send you over an email today, is it okay if I give you uh, yourself a call back on Monday and you can let me know if there's been any developments on your side? Sure, yeah, absolutely. I just need something to work on to see if it seems like a viable proposal. Yeah. If I think it is, then Sarah and I can follow up. Yeah, absolutely fine. Okay, no worries. What, what was your name again? Sorry? You've got the main email address. I'm going to be um, monitoring that today. So that's hello at thelovelyclinic.co.uk. Not a problem at all. And your name was? Wonderful. Danielle. Danielle. Danielle, pleasure speaking to you. And uh, I hope they'll catch up with you early next week. Super. Thanks for your help. No worries. Okay. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hello, Jimmy speaking. Hi, Xavier. Uh, it's Mo here. I know you're busy, so I'll be really quick. I just wondered whether you guys can handle more clients at the moment, say like five in the next month or so. Yeah, probably. Okay. So I'll get straight to the point. Mo, where, 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 where are you from? I'm, I'm calling from Cambridge at the moment, but I'm a, I'm a freelancer who works with estheticians and hair transplant clinics. You're a freelancer who works in what? Est sorry? Estheticians and hair transplant clinics. Can I, can I just okay. take 30 seconds just to explain what I do? And if this is something that you're not interested in, feel free to hang up. But I know I can help you guys based on what I've seen and what I do at the moment. Sorry, 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 sorry Mo, um, so you're, you're in Cambridge. Um, are you, are you, do you say you're a hair technician? No. So I'm a marketer. Okay. Yeah, so I help, I, I help estheticians and hair transplant clinics get more clients booked in without them having to do anything extra themselves. So I would generate leads for you. I would call them up, book them straight into your calendar, and you wouldn't have to pay me anything if I wasn't to get you any new clients. I think it sounds interesting. Are you free for a FaceTime call today? Yeah, well, I could do tomorrow if that works for you. If, 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 are you available to do a Zoom call instead of FaceTime? I'd rather just do a FaceTime call. <laughs> okay, a, a, a FaceTime's absolutely fine. I can do tomorrow if that works for you. Yeah, tomorrow would, would work for me. What, what time are you thinking? It really depends on your availability. I'm relatively open in the morning. So it depends. Do you spend time with, it, with, it, with people yourself, uh, as in your, your clients? Or? Yeah, 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 I do. I've got, I've got probably about 10 leads tomorrow, um, which I'll be calling. Today is a better day for me, if I'm honest, only because um, I, I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, uh, okay. I, mean, I, 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 I could do a quick call tomorrow. Well, um, well, well, well why, why don't we do so? It's easy for you. Why don't we do Monday or Tuesday instead, and and then we can we can just spend fifteen minutes, and at least then I can explain everything to you. Yeah. It's, where, where are you from, though? So, as in, I'm I'm, in, I'm I'm based in Cambridge, but my 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 my, yeah. age, my my agency is, is, is called Gorilla Media Lab. It's, it's, it's a name that I'm currently in the middle of changing. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually based in Cambridge. And which clinics, which um, hair transplant clinics do you work for? And, and what made you choose HQ? So to be completely transparent with you, you would be the first hair transplant clinic we're looking to move into. But we work with aesthetics clinics at the moment. And the strategy is extremely similar. Uh, I actually, one of my, the people in my business uh, actually had a hair transplant clinic himself, which gave us the idea of moving into your industry. And as I said, we're so confident we could do this for you that we would guarantee it to you and you wouldn't pay us anything if we weren't to get you new clients. Okay, and which areas would you be looking at? Uh, which what, sorry? I mean, we, like, you're in, you're in Cambridge, yeah? Um, what, what would you do, Facebook ads and things like that? We, we would manage Facebook ads, but Facebook ads are really just the, the trigger to get us some leads in. The real work comes yeah. from the appointment setting side of things and nurturing those leads, making sure they're qualified, because of course, and well, as you know, I don't need to tell you about your business. Everybody's going to have a lot of questions when it comes to hair transplant. So it's that nurturing process that, that, that really the work, where the work will come in. We can get you leads from wherever you would like them. So if you're multiple location, then we can. Okay. Uh, we, 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 okay. cannot. We, 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 yeah. we, we probably have 160 leads a week at the moment. 
and then and then through our staff we go through that and we, we fine tune it to you know um, um, a video a video consultation and come in to see the surgeon etc 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 so it's just it's I mean I'm 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 all for getting more business and 100 percent and the more avenues I can do that mm. um, if I benefit and you benefit then um, you know I'm I'm all for it um, so. Yeah, let's let's butt heads and see and see if we can, you know, um, if we can help each other. Yeah. And, um, and, and, we, and, and where it goes from there. Absolutely. And, and, and I completely understand your sales process. As I said, my business partner, Jordan, had a transplant himself. And I know he had a thousand questions before he actually went and bit the bullet. So we would be able to take that pain away from you as well. So we would understand the nurturing process. So, so would Monday, did you, did you, did you go on? For me, it would be all about trying to, um, uh, trying to get us, uh, you know, some leads from maybe areas we aren't we aren't getting them from. Do you know what I mean? Some, of course. Uh, was, you know, and, and and trying to see, right? Okay, can you get us more people from other areas? Um, and and you know, areas we're we're not hitting at the moment. You know, what? You know, bringing another string to our to our bow. Um, yeah. You know, from areas we're not really hitting. I mean, the, the clinic is probably. One of the best clinics in, in, in the UK with two very, very, very good surgeons, mm-hmm. um, and it's you know I, I want to try and be hitting the that kind of you know very well off person who is prepared to travel for the best service. Um, so that's something which which, uh, which which would kind of appeal to me. Um, you know, five really you know five or six really good um, uh, you know bookings per month from. Uh, from uh, from areas we're not really hitting at the moment. Absolutely. Well, that's something that we can discuss in our meeting. We can go over kind of any areas that you, you do want to hit. Of course, we would make sure that everybody is super qualified. Um, and I mean, I've, there's so many people going over to Turkey and so on now for hair transplants. It's very important they understand the quality I don't, difference. I don't, I, don't really care. I don't really care about the guys going to Turkey because most of them can't afford to have a hair transplant in the UK. Yep. So, uh, so I'm I'm more after the people who are never going to Turkey. Yes. Um, because they because they want the very best, and yep. that's kind of yep. You know that's kind of where 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 we're at as a kind of we're not we're not there to chase the market to the bottom. We're there to provide amazing results for people who can afford it. Absolutely. We do have finance, and we do have finance options as well um, mm-hmm. to to make it you know um, less painful for people. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're singing off the same hymn sheet. It's not difficult for us to really target the, the higher end of the market uh, with our wording and our messaging. So let's, let's, let's get something in then. So are you free? Would Monday or Tuesday be better for you? Let's do, let's do Monday. Okay, Monday. And does, say, what, is there a time of the day that works better for you? I'm thinking, I'm thinking around about 1 p.m. Um, let's put it in for one, for, 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 for 1 p.m. Um, and will you, will you give me a call? I will give I will give you a call. Can you and let me just check because I have one meeting in uh, in the afternoon in Monday at the moment. So can you do 12 p.m. at all? Would that work for you? Uh, actually, no. I, 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 actually, 1 1 p.m. should be absolutely fine. 1 p.m. is absolutely fine. Okay, let's let's do 1 p.m. And what's Mo short for? Say that again. Uh, Mo, Mo is your... Mo, it's, it's, just, it's just Mo. Okay, all right, Mo. <laughs> I'll, 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 it, it's Mo Darek. I'll, I'll send you over an email so you've got my details anyway, and I'll confirm the have meeting. You my, have you got my email and details? Uh, I, I will confirm that. I have... Uh, how, how, how did you get my details, Mo? I'm a, I'm a magician. And so I'm, 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 good, I'm good at what I do, that's how. I, I, just, I just simply found, it on, found them online. <laughs> okay, no, no, no drama, no. Okay, I'll, I'll catch up with you, um, I'll catch up with you on Monday at 1pm. Not a problem, I'll send you an invite now. Look forward to catching up with you and you have a great weekend okay, as well. Take care. Perfect, take care, right. bye-bye, bye. There we go, that's how it's done. Cool, so hair transplant clinic. Um, naturally actually very hard clients to get to get and um, I'm glad we got that one so what I'm going to do now is send over an email women invite for Monday and what I'm really hoping is Mo's got a, a meeting booked in and I'm in Cape Town right now and I'm not sure and I hope I haven't conflicted times I think we're absolutely fine 
Um, so we're at two till three. Yeah, that's fine. So we have this meeting with Xavier, Sashmo. Mo, I mean, uh, your name's just Mo. I don't know whether Mo is short for Mohammed. Sorry, man. Like you're going to get on this call. He's going to be like, ah, oh, you said Mo was just, but I don't know. I don't know. So uh, yeah, I hope your name is just Mo. Um, just winged it on that one. Wicked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a message over uh, to Mo right now. Mo, you can book this in and I'll continue calling. Okay, so that is our first meeting out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12 calls. Sweet. So almost a 10% meeting book rate. That's pretty decent. Um, so we might not be able to maintain that, but we're good to go. Let's move on to the next boss. We're on the high of jumping on another call. The best time to jump on another call is straight after you've just secured a meeting because you're going to have the energy. You're going to be emitting it. You're going to be attracting it. Don't get caught up in like, oh, let me schedule it. Let me send some long email and so on. Like send that after your session. Jump straight on to the next call. Good morning. Hi, is that Anna I'm speaking to? Uh, speaking, how can I help? Anna, it's Mo here. I know you're busy, so I'll be really quick. I just wondered whether you guys could handle 15 new appointments over the next month or so. Can you hear me? What about it? you want to book an appointment? No, I just wondered whether you could handle another 15 or so appointments over the next month. I understand. It, it is. Uh, we, it, we don't it, have budget to pay for marketing, I'm afraid. Okay, I, okay I, I understand your, your, your position. I just give me 10 seconds and I might be able to change your mind. And if not, then feel free to hang up. Many calls like this, and we, we're not going to pay for it. I mean, okay. you're, you're wasting your time. Okay. Unless you provide some services for free, then well, give better advice on somebody else. I, I, can, I completely understand your position. I know many agencies call up businesses like yours. We do have a guarantee that if we don't get you clients, you don't pay us a single penny. Does that change anything at all? Uh, it's just not the right time. I, 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 you know, we need to make an appointment to discuss this. I really don't have time right now. I'm writing a dissertation and I've got a strict deadline and uh, it's just not the right time. I'm not going to be able to focus properly on that. Okay, not a problem at all. I completely understand. Would it be better for me to call back in a couple of weeks? As I said, you wouldn't have to pay us if we don't get you clients. We're not like every other agency out there. It's best if you write an email. Okay, so I'll, I'll drop you... I'll drop you over an email and then hopefully we can get back in touch in a couple of weeks. Yeah. No problem. Okay, you have a wonderful day. Take care, Anna. Bye -bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. There's no point even going through that. I could, you could go back and forth and try and get a meeting. She will be a nightmare client, I'm telling you right now. There is no point in even, like, I'm not pushing back on the email thing. No point. It's just not going to be good. So, yeah, let's make that. Doesn't want to spend... Would be nightmare. Hello. Hi, is that Tracy? Yes, speaking. Tracy, it's Mo here. I know you're busy, so I'll be really quick. I just wondered whether you guys could handle an extra 15 or so appointments over the next month. If we could what? Sorry? If you could handle another 10 to 15 appointments over the next month or so. And we don't want to buy any services. Okay, like, I'm not going to try and sell you anything right now. I know you get a lot of these calls. Can you give me 10 seconds and I might be able to change your mind? Really quickly, because I'm really not up for this. I'm so busy. Okay, I, I understand. I understand. We work with estheticians. We help them get more clients. We do the whole process. I generate the leads. I call them on your behalf, book them straight into your availability. And if I don't get you clients, you don't pay me anything. Does that change anything? Oh, we, we, yeah, no, because we've got a team that do it already in-house. So thank okay. you anyway. Okay, no worries at all. You have a wonderful day. Take care. Thank you. No worries. Thank Take you. care. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Fine. You see, she wants to get rid of me. Be polite. Give them an offer. And yeah, that's, we're there. So, move on. They've got an in-house team. That's absolutely fine. They're probably busy, so, yeah. Thank you for contacting Trick while aesthetic. We apologise. We were unable to... Okay. Hello? Hi, is that Steve? Yes. Steve, it's Mo here. I know you're really busy, so I'll be very quick. I just wondered whether you guys can handle another 10 to 15 appointments for your clinic at the moment. Oh, um, probably, not, probably not, thanks. 
Okay, look, I, I'm not trying to sell you anything right now. If you just give me 10 seconds, I might be able to change your mind and hang up the call. Okay. Okay, look, I, I help estheticians get more clients. I generate them leads. I then call the clients on your behalf and I book them straight into your calendar. And I'm so confident this would work with you that if I wasn't to get you new clients, you wouldn't have to pay me a penny. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure about that. Okay, can I ask why? Um, well, what are you doing to get the clients? So, it's a simple service. We run paid ads on platforms like Facebook to generate the leads, but the real work comes in with the lead nurturing process and appointment setting them straight onto your calendar. So we take the work away from you. There's no risk on your end. We're not like every other agency that calls you up. We actually put our money where our mouth is. And, um, Yeah, the only thing is, um, could you send me some information? Look, I'll, be, I'll be completely honest with you, Steve. I always find emails a complete waste of time. And all I really want to do from this call is get a 10, 15 minute meeting booked in with you on Zoom early next week. Worst case, you take my ideas, you implement them yourself. Um, I would, I'd, rather, I'd rather you sent me just something about who you who you are so that I can just uh, have a think about that. Okay. I mean, I can send you an email, but it's very hard for me to, to put into play exactly what we're doing because it's very individual to the business. Yeah. But so are, are you sure you don't want to have just a 10 minute meeting early next week? I, would, I can run you through the whole process. And as I said, you can take the system and implement it yourself if you wish. Um, which, which treatments are you thinking about? It really is dependent on you guys, on the treatments that you're trying to push at the moment. Uh, we work with clinics on a variety of different treatments, from, from Botox and fillers all the way through to training courses. It depends on your needs as a business and what areas you're trying to grow on at the moment. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I can't put in a, a, a something in the diary right now, um, but... Uh, yeah, if you, if you just send me your, your info, and um, when were you thinking about next week? I was thinking like like Monday to Wednesday next week. Like we would only need about 10, 15 minutes, and I could, uh, that would be enough time for me to run you through exactly what we do. As I said, there's no risk on your end whatsoever. You wouldn't pay us unless we were actually getting you clients. Yeah. Okay. And um, let's... Uh, let's go for Tuesday. Okay. Let's. Um, if, if, if we put if we put a time in, um, when I get to my diary, I'll just have to double check um, and confirm it. But um, okay. Why don't you go for? What, what what time on Tuesday would be good for you? And I can send you a invite and then. Something mid. Gone. Something mid mornings probably the safest. Okay. How's how's eleven a.m. your time? Edward's UK, I yeah. said your time. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. perfect. Okay, so, shall I, I'll send over an invitation to your email address, which is, I presume it's steve at thecanmoreclinic.com? That's right. Perfect. I'll send over an invitation. Um, I'll also just give you a little bit of detail, and if you have any questions in the meantime, fire it over. But if not, I look forward to spending 10, 15 minutes with you next Tuesday. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks, Steve. You have a good one. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, so another meeting. Uh, that was a tricky one. And you can tell straight away Steve kind of had his fences up, didn't want me to be on the phone for long, tried to get me off, send me an email, push back on those things. That's why it's so important to keep pushing back. Now, Steve's going to be a tough nut to crack. You can tell that already. When I jump on this meeting, there's going to be a bit of friction. He's going to want to know that we can guarantee them results. He's going to want to understand what exactly it is that we're doing. We're going to have to provide a lot of value on the meeting. That's not to say it's impossible. I've spoken to many people like Steve before and have become really great friends and great clients. So we will see how we get on. I'll send an invitation over to him. And yeah, the meeting is Tuesday, so let's move on. Good morning, Business Training Cube. Speaking, how can I help? Hi, could you pop me through to Alison, please? She's not in the office today. Can I take a message? Oh, that's no problem at all. Not, not at this time. Um, is there a better time for me to call her back? Um, she may be back tomorrow. 
try tomorrow, usually in the afternoon. So when she's in, she doesn't tend to be in this early. So I would say after about one o'clock. After about one o'clock. Okay, no worries. That's great. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. Thanks. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So that's not bad. That was a very nice gatekeeper there. So it's not going to stop you getting through. You know that you need to call back tomorrow. So call. Um, so tomorrow after, to do after 2 p.m. Call back as not in the office. Okay. So you know you're going to get put through. Some gatekeepers, you know the policy in the company, they're going to let you get through to the actual person that you're trying to get hold of. Others are just going to put their feet down, uh, their foot down and just not let you through. They have this heightened sense of importance for their boss. But also they're just, they're just protecting their time. We also have to remember that it's, um, we don't, they don't owe us the right to spend time with us on the phone. So we have to earn that privilege. And believe me, like when I've been in cold calling jobs, hammering down the phone of multi-billion dollar companies, multi-million dollar companies, billion dollar companies, I got hold of the COO of Universal Studios. He took me out for lunch in Dubai, flew me over. I built a relationship with that individual. You can go on my LinkedIn, see the endorsements from these people, right? And when I had those conversations, prior to that, I was smashing the... Uh, <laughs> The gatekeeper, I'm not smashing the gatekeeper. I was calling the gatekeeper like every single day for like weeks and weeks on end until I got through to them. You have to build a bit of rapport, make them your friends, be nice to them. If you're rude to them, then they're going to make your life hell. Okay, let's have a look at this, Dr. Aesthetics. Let's call this one up. Good morning. Could you pop me through to wreck her, please? Uh, she's not in clinic this week, I'm afraid. Can I help you at all? Oh, that's okay. Not, not, not for now. Thank you. Is, you. is she back in next week? Yes, she is. Yeah, I'm Hannah's our manager. She's, she's in today, but she's just a little bit tied up at the moment. Um, maybe an email? Sure, yeah. I'll email that's absolutely fine. I've, I've, I've got Rekha's direct, so I'll, I'll, I'll uh, drop over a message and call back next week. Perfect. Okay, no Have a wonderful day. Thank Speak you. soon. Take care. Bye bye. Hi, could you pop me through to Bold Deep, please? Oh, no. Um, he's not in the clinic today. Who is it, please? Oh, no problem. Uh, my name's Mo. Uh, Bold Deep will know what it's regarding. Is he, is he back in later on this week? Uh, tomorrow? Uh, no, he's back in on Monday. Not a problem at all. Do you know what time roughly is the best time to grab him on? I imagine Monday's a busy day, isn't it? Yeah, Mondays and Tuesdays are his clinic days. Okay. So I, if you could be contacting him um, any other day, I think that would be okay. What's it regarding? Do you want me to pass on a message? Mm, no, not, not for now. Uh, it's, it's something that I need to speak with him myself about. So it, that's absolutely fine. What I'll do is I'll call back on, on Wednesday next week um, when he's back in and hopefully I'll be able to reach him then. But yeah, you have a wonderful day. Okay, are you... Oh, go on. I, have you come to the clinic before for treatments? Is it regarding treatments with Dr. Farmer? Just so... No, it, it's, not, it's not regarding a treatment that I've had before, no. Oh, okay then. All right okay. then. No. And your name is Mo? My name is Mo, yeah. Okay. No worries. Right then. Okay. okay. You, you have a lovely day. Take care. Bye. 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 Okay. So beautifully vague. <laughs> okay. Be vague. Don't have to lie. Just be vague. I said he knows what it's regarding. The <laughs> Kenny kind of getting back into my old boiler room habits there. Um, we used to do that a lot in uh, cold calling jobs. You're just speaking to people all the time. You're just saying whatever you can get. You'd say, oh, I'm having golf with them. We're going for golf next week or whatever to get through to big sea levels. I'm now, as I've matured as a person, I don't believe that's the right thing to do. So I wouldn't necessarily say, oh, he'll know what it's regarding. Um, but yeah, it's old habits creeping out then. So. Hi, good morning. Can I speak to Noel, please? Um, unfortunately, he's not at the clinic. He doesn't usually work on uh, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. If you would like, um, we can pass a message, or if you would like to send him an email directly, he'll be um, away next week, and maybe he can contact you directly from um, his mobile. Yeah, not a problem at all. I've, I've got Niall's uh, email, so I'll, I'll drop him over an email. Did you say, is he on annual leave next week? Uh, yes, next week. He'll be back the week from the 20th. Not a problem at all. Awesome. Okay, well, I'll give him a little break before he gets back and I'll get in touch another time. Thank you so much. You have a good day. No worries. That's great. Thanks. <laughs> Take Bye. care. Bye-bye. Okay, so again, the kind of person that's going to let us through, they would let us through uh, on annual leave until uh, 18th. But yeah, definitely call them. 
call him back for sure. Morning, Harrogate Aesthetics, Ellie speaking. Hi, could you pop me through to Anthea, please? Hi, I'm afraid Anthea's not in today. Can I take a message? No, not for now. That's okay. Uh, is she back in next week? Hopefully. She's actually not been very well, so she's been off for the last couple of days. Um, okay. But, yeah, by all means, try on Tuesday. We don't work on a Monday. Not a, not a problem at all. Well, you have a lovely weekend. I'll call back on Tuesday. Thank Hope you so much. <laughs> all right. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, fine. Again, another. So I was expecting these guys actually to be a lot more... Um, a, a, a lot more pushy back on like not actually having the person being put through the, the, like Anthea being on the phone, right? Like we had we experienced earlier on, I've forgotten who we called up. I said, oh no, their time is really precious. Like giving them this God complex. But actually, like the majority of these, I don't feel like there's going to be much friction in actually getting past the gatekeeper. I wish I had more time today. It's coming up to 12 p.m. here in Cape Town. I've got a meeting coming up at half past 12. So we'll get some more calls done. You can get an idea of the, of the, of the, uh, getting past the gatekeeper. Hopefully we can get past one and we have the time to do so. I think we've done about 19 dials so far. So not very well. Call back on Tuesday 14th. Okay, awesome. And then Mo can take over this database afterwards and smash through some of these leads. Calls may be recorded for training and monitoring purposes. Thank you for calling Body V Mediclinic. Please note that calls may be recorded and stored for patient management, training, and quality control purposes. This is going to be a difficult one. Morning, Body V. Can I speak to Hi, can I speak to Barbara, please? Hello? Hi, could you pop me through to Barbara, please? Um, she's not here today. Okay, no problem. Is she back in next week? Uh, yeah, you should be. Okay. Do you know what day is normally best to reach her? Oh, sorry, your line's very bad. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Do you know what day is normally... Hello? Okay. Um, can you hear me? Hello? That's extremely annoying. I don't know what's happening with that. Just said... Hi, Jitter. Okay, so... Is what it is. She wasn't in anyway. Hi, could you pop me through to Jenna, please? She's in with clients at the moment, unfortunately. Okay, no problem at all. Is there a better time for me to reach her later, or is she pretty stacked today? Uh, she's pretty back to back, to be honest with you, till about 8 o'clock tonight. Not a problem at all. Uh, are there better times in the day for me to reach Jenna, say, like, first thing in the morning, for example? Um, let's have a look. Friday. I mean, to most, she doesn't come in to like half nine on okay. the Friday, but you could try from then tomorrow. Okay, not a problem at all. It's half nine. You could you... you tomorrow. Okay, yeah. all right, not a problem at all. All right, then, will you have a wonderful day? You too, thank Take you. Take care. Bye bye. 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 Good morning, General Connect. Natasha speaking. Morning, could you pop me through to Jared, please? Elsie, if he's available, what was your name? It's Mo. Sorry, what was that? Mo. What was your name? Mo. M O. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Mo. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and where are you calling from? I thought you were just saying no. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm from. Oh, where are you calling from? I'm from Cambridge. I'm not calling from a company. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Two seconds. Thank you. Available. Cheers. Love that one. I'm from Cambridge. Not from a company. Approximately 10 hours later. Hi. Hello. Hi, he's not answering his phone, so I don't know if he's at his desk. Have you got um, a contact number and a message or pass it on? Not for now, it's okay. I need to speak to him direct, but it's okay. I can, I can try him back uh, tomorrow morning, that's all right. Right, okay, no problem. No Bye. worries, you have a good one. Bye-bye. Cool. Okay.
So let's put this session into context. We did two hours of dialing today, two meetings set, and it was taking me a lot longer to dial than it would you. I'm recording a video. I have to mess around with a camera every 30 minutes. I have to mess around with other tech. You'll be able to dial more numbers within two hours. And let's just say, okay, I've got experience. I've done thousands of cold calls in the past. You only get one meeting in that two-hour session. Well, that's one meeting a day over the course of five days. That's five meetings a week, 20 meetings a month. It is physically impossible for you not to be scaling your business if you're getting 20 sales opportunities every single month. And then when you do get good and you can do two meetings in two hours, it's 40 meetings. What about if you don't do a two-hour session? You do a four-hour session or a six-hour cold calling session like I did when I was in cold calling jobs. And you see it just snowballs and racks up. Cold calling really is king and this video is proof of that. I let the camera roll, I had no expectation, I got a bunch of leads in a very difficult niche for cold calling and I still managed to get two meetings. And sure, when I first started out, I was terrified and I was stumbling over my words and I was monotonous like many of you will be when you're reading through your script. But the training that I'm gonna give you over the next few weeks on this channel is gonna help you bridge that gap of knowledge and be a better closer, be a better caller, be a better salesperson as a whole. And through repetition and practicing this yourself, you'll be able to master the skill of sales over time. Hope this inspired you today. I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers.